Uh, let's start our session. Let me just start sharing my screen. Can you see it? Okay. Okay, let's start. Uh, okay, so uh, this session is going to be uh, my introduction to understanding the provided reference documents and especially uh, the term of reference, uh, TOR, because these documents are going to help you uh, in creating your bit uh, for the theater. So uh, let's start. So we're gonna start with the term of reference or the TOR uh, document. We have provided you with uh, nine documents to be specific and uh, term of reference is one of them. Um, okay, so uh, it's a very uh, important document. Uh, so it provides a clarity of the pro what's expected and what's required uh, from the contractor and in our case uh, from the consultant by the tender by the uh, the one that's giving the service the tender so it serves as a guideline for all the projects and activities uh, activities and deliverables so it serves as a guideline like um you, we can uh, it's our basis of understanding for these uh con consultants so uh we base everything up of up on this uh reference or document so it's a very a very uh important document for this project and for any tender so it specifies the objectives the tasks the deliverables expected uh, from the contractor or in our case the consultant so we need to understand this reference uh, the term of reference before starting uh, to do our bid so the key components are project background and context. Uh, this is just the introduction part, objectives and goals, uh, scope of work and uh, what's expected from us to deliver, time frame, uh, which is the time frame that's uh, expected for us to finish in, and evaluation criteria. So they're going to use these evaluation criteria in order to uh, award us. So its importance uh, for Tinder application is just to ensure uh, alignment with project goals because we have set goals in the uh, do document and we need to ensure them by using this. And it, it provides a clear uh, roadmap for uh, project ex execution. So it's good for both the Tinder and for the consultant because uh, it's going to uh, provide guideline on what to do when to do and how to evaluate it so you need to first go through this anyway before starting with anything so uh the breakdown uh, of the tor is the first thing is you find you, you're gonna find is the context which uh, is a background rationale of the project for this case it's from G, uh, giz uh, from a german uh, company so the tasks, uh, I think the headquarters is in uh, Addis Ababa actually. Uh, so the tasks, so uh, which activities, activities or the tasks that uh, needs to be performed by the contractor uh, with a specific, a specific uh, outlines, uh, concepts, uh, the, which are uh, proposed methods and strategies to be used in order to do the tasks the personnels which is uh the experts or the like the work at the team that are required with their spe specification also costs uh, which includes the budget and expenses that's expected uh for the consulting and the formats the format is just a structure of how to submit the tender or the bid okay 
So that's the first document. Uh, any questions so far, guys? I just want to check. Questions? Okay. Only one person, okay. Uh, excuse me, uh, you're breaking up. It's clear, it's clear, we can move on. Oh, okay, good, good. So the second document is a service of contract. There's a draft one. So this is just a legal do document which outlines the uh, terms and conditions uh, between the provider and the client or, or is a consultant and the client. So you and the GIZ. So it includes specific uh, obligations and deliverables. Uh, so uh, the key clauses are uh, scope of work, uh, payment terms uh, after evaluation, of course, uh, confidentiality and termination co co conditions. So after the, you win the bid, if you don't fulfill a certain things, uh, we need to uh, follow this uh, draft, the contract, in order to ter terminate the bid or or the term of the pay payment and so on. So these things can be found in this document, the service of uh, contract document. So uh, the importance is it ensures legal and contractual compliance uh, of the bid, protects both parties' interests. So, uh, for, so if if you did the work and are not uh, willing to pay, it will help you. And if you didn't do uh, the, the work properly, it helps them for the termination. So it's uh, it works good for both sides. Um, and the next thing you're going to find is the self-declaration uh, of eligibility. So this co confirms that the party or uh, you, the bidding party, is eligible to participate in the Tinder. So you need uh, some sort of uh, uh, like some sort of things in order to qualify, in, in order to be eligible to participate in the Tinder. So uh, this uh, document certifies you of this. So it's, uh, it certifies that the contractor meets uh, the criteria, the eligibility criteria set by the Tinder. So it just certifies that you meet uh, the criteria set by the GIZ company, or our case, of course. So the contents are statement of compliance with the criteria set by the Tinder, uh, declarations uh, regarding conflict of uh, interest when they happen, what will you do, and legal and uh, regulatory adherences. So uh, it just shows that you are uh, you adhere to the uh, le legal and uh, regulatory laws uh, set. And it's important because it ensures that all uh, participants meet the necessary qualification and the legal requirements set by the Tinder. So it's also a good, uh, unimportant document that you need to check. And the price schedule is just for you, uh, like uh, to use in order to estimate or to forecast the future budget. So its importance is just, uh, it's uh, outlines the financial proposal and cost breakdown of uh, the historical and uh, the key elements are detailed cost estimates for each project phase and breakdown for everything from personal equipment material and overhead so you i think you're you're gonna have a session on this so uh, it's going to be more clear then but you can use uh use this historical data and the market rates for estimation for forecasting as we have discussed in the Product uh, the project introduction. Yeah, so just ensure that it's accurate and uh, competitive when submitting your bid. Um, okay. Okay. Sorry for that. Um, so the next thing to you find is just the invitation letter. Is just uh, to invite uh, if. Uh, anyone who's interested to bid uh, to participate in the 
in their process. So it's just an invitation. It's no more, uh, no more than that. So the key elements are just an overview of the Tinder process, the submission guide, the guideline, where to submit, how to submit, uh, and the contact information if you want to contact uh, the tenders or the it's the ones who just invited you. So you can use this invitation later for that. So the importance is just to initiate the process of the tender and provide essential details to the participants. So it's just to invite you in order to participate in this uh, in the Tinder process. So the invitation, as the name implies, is just the invitation la later. Okay, um, is it clear so far, guys? Okay. I just feel like I was moving a bit fast, so I just wanted to check. Okay. Let's move on then. So we have seen the uh, implementation later. The next thing we're going to find is, I, think, I believe uh, this is the uh, the bigger file that you have you have been provided with. So it's just provided by uh, GIZ, the company. It's just the standard term of for con contract. So just to ensure uh, that clear and fairness in execution of co contracts uh, like the it, it, it's just there to show the operational framework and the legal framework of how they are, they operate so the key se sections are general provisions um okay so this is under the general provision actually so application uh, applicable uh, laws and contracts components uh, provision of work and service, pricing, uh, invoicing, and re remunerations, remuneration, sorry, and uh, supplementary performance interruptions and terminations of the uh, contract, liability and contractual pe penalties, uh, what are you liable to, and what are the penalties if you don't comply, and the final uh, provisions. So this is just a miscellaneous, uh, the final agreement ter terms between you and the GIZ company. So the payment terms, invoicing and pricing structures um, and condition for performance, right to inter uh, interrupt and terminate by the company is all li listed in here. So that's why it's a huge file uh and it's just there in order to avoid uh issues uh, that arise uh, on the legal and operational sites and just to ensure uh compliance and uh successful project execution so it's just there in order to protect the giz company so it can be updated every year and yeah it's uh, that's the purpose that uh, it's there for. And uh, I believe that the, the, the last three, yeah, are application requirements, just the specific requirements for for applying uh, the application submitted to GIS. So the company, this is just specific for the company, you, you can see here, so application requirement for GIZ 2023. So it's just there to show, uh, to, uh, it's just there to show the document standard, submission guideline and uh, compliance criteria. So you need to follow these uh, standards and guidelines when you submit your bid. So it, it just ensures that a complete and compliant application is uh, provided by the bid or you, the consultant, when you are submitting for the Tinder process. So uh, you need to go through this before uh, preparing your bid because it's going to show you uh, the standard and the guidelines when doing so. So, yeah. Um, is it clear, guys? Um, am I going fast or? It's clear so far. 
you're not asking questions, so I'm just uh, I'm just wondering if it is clear or not. Okay, okay, let's move. That's good. That's good. Okay. So uh, the assessment uh, grid for the technical evaluation is uh, just a framework for evaluating the technical as uh, aspect of the tinder. So you have the technical and the non-technical aspect. So this is just to evaluate the technical aspect of the Tinder. So the key criteria include uh, the technical expertise and approach. This is the methodology and your team, the project management uh, capabilities, which is you, and relevant experience and past performance. So this is just everything you include in your uh, CV, right? So on task two, you need to comply with this uh, document because they are going to use this document in order to evaluate uh, whether or not you're going to be fit or not, right? So you need to uh, be aware of this document as well. So it's, it's just highlight the strengths and uh, align with evaluation criteria and provide a clear and detailed responses. So you need to close this uh, through this one. So your team, you and your past experience as a team and uh, performance. So they, they are going to be using this document in order to uh, evaluate your technical side. And uh, the information on implementing data provision, uh, protection provision is just uh, there in order to protect your data because they can't use your data as, uh, as uh, no, they can use it, but they can't share it. So it's just there in order to uh, protect you, your data. So it's just a data privacy uh, uh, policy or provision, you can call it. So the importance, sorry, the importance is just to uh, comply with uh, the EU uh, uh, like law uh, for handling the personal data and it protects your uh, data privacy and enhances trust. So it's just there in order to protect your data and just ensure all documents uh, comply with this pro provision and uh, implement uh, security protocols, robust security protocols and ensure uh, your team members are aware of this requirement. So is this just for protecting your uh, data? So they need to include it for your uh, for your sake. Uh, yeah, so uh, these are just a highlight of the nine uh, documents that were, are provided to you guys. So uh, any questions, guys? So the floor is yours for now. Yes, Gitteri. Okay, uh, thank you for the in very informatory session. Um, okay. Question is one. Actually, this is my first time uh, knowing about tenders. I just see this thing in the newspapers and I'm glad that I've learned something about standards. So I just have a question. Eh? Okay. Um, yeah, can a person apply for attend as an individual or you, you are supposed to be in like a company for you to maybe to apply for attend? Oh, uh, so that's a subjective, like, uh, so it depends on the tender, right? Like, uh, if the tender is for one per person or a company for uh, one per person, yeah, you can. So sometimes the, there could be a, a tender for um, for you to supply uh, material, right? So that can be done by one man or like such things. But for this case, it's a huge project and they need a team, a consulting team. So you can do it do that for this project but yeah there are cases uh when you have you can apply but, but under your company of course okay okay uh okay. okay uh let me narrow down to something actually 
uh, because we have said that, for example, in this, uh, whatever we are doing now needs a company. Eh? Whatever I decide, uh, I take maybe Kerod, I take maybe Sosten, maybe yeah. Sosten has a skill set, uh, Kerod has a skill set, maybe I'm, I'm not the project manager, then our skill set can meet uh, the criteria uh, to get that tender. Can yeah. we still get the tender without being a company? You are just individuals. Oh, uh, I don't. I'm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. To be honest, I'm not sure. Uh, but I can check and uh, come back to, to you. But I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Any other questions, guys? So, hello, Kirod. Yeah, yeah. So, for this specific document, it means we just have to to develop bid doc the bid document from or this task one. Yeah. From this, from this document, from this data folder. Of course, of course. So you can go through the UR and find out uh, what's needed in double the project. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So for this project, yeah, uh, you you have to go through the documents, and I have explained what each uh, document holds and how you can you uh, use them and their importance, right? So. You can just follow uh, this guide and go through the documents and you can use AI in order to understand them. And yeah, finally, yeah, uh, you can, for the interim submission, you can just write the draft. When I say the draft, you just, uh, you can edit it later for the final, but you have to submit your bid. As a company. So you are you have a company, right? Uh, we have provided the name and everything for the company, and you are a project ma manager for that specific company, and you need to uh, just uh, submit your bid representing that co company. In, in, just in a general sense, how how long should be the bid? How long should it be the bit? So we approximately how many pages? Just give us an approximate. Um, I think there's um, okay. Uh, there is no approximate actually. You are not restricted. But if you uh, if there is a restriction from the bit, I will tell you on Slack. But you are not re restricted. But you need to follow the outlined structure from the i believe uh, the application requirement do document yeah yeah mm. yes okay uh, what's that the message yeah, it's a message. Okay. Yes, uh, yes, Professor. So you are uh, aiming to win the bid, right? So you need to fulfill the requirements. Okay. okay so, then did I answer your question before I move on? Yeah, yeah, I think. I think I get I get the drift. Good, good. That's good. So just uh, just start with with that, and uh, we are here to help. But you can follow this uh, the the files, the documents. Okay. Any other questions, guys? We still have time. Okay, so um, so how 
are you going to use the TOR or the term of reference uh, in in your applications? So you you need to first read and understand the file, the reference file, and identify the key uh, requirements and what's to be delivered. And you need to align your proposal or your bid with these specifications. So ensure that your specific proposal meets the specification set by the TOR document. And then you can use AI for drafting, uh, just to create a draft based on the requirements set by the TOR. And then just edit the draft and ensure uh, that it aligns or co compliance with, with the guidelines. So uh, that's what you are going to do. It is just to highlight your uh, the steps that you are going to take. So the first thing you, you need to do is just go through the uh, term of reference document and understand and just try to write down what's required and what's to be delivered. And then you can just come back to your uh, proposal and uh, just write it based on the specifications. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's for, uh, that's it for me. So then, yeah. From the price schedule. Yes. In the list of, in the list of key experts, am I to fill the, the family name, the, the, the details which I see are blank. Am I to fill the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can use us, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, this this uh, Excel file is just a outline for us to fill. Yes. So it's just price schedules as service. So you you can fill them, yeah. So you will have a session on this uh, for uh, I think on Wednesday. So it will be I think, I believe more clear then. Okay. An interesting yeah. project. A very interesting project indeed. Yeah. Okay. So I'm glad uh, you like them. So any questions? Yes, from side will be uploaded uh, soon, uh, like right now, on the drive. Okay. So any other questions, guys? Or is it uh, clear? If it is clear, show me some thumbs up and we can end the session. Only five people, so it's not clear. It's clear, it's clear. Yeah, yeah. I was just looking. Okay, let me just stop the recording. I got you there.